There are plenty of heroes to choose from in Overwatch, and there are plenty of roles and reasons why you'd pick a specific one. You may be picking a certain hero because they're your favorite, or you just might be picking them because your team desperately needs the position filled. Regardless, the role you pick is probably saying something about you. Let's start things off with the offensive role player. One of the reasons I've decided to pick on them first is because they've probably already picked and locked in. We've all seen it before. No communication or cooperation with the rest of the team, and it has to be because they are obviously the best player on God's green earth. Unfortunately for them, their lack of teamwork and lone wolf style just ends up getting them killed over and over in battle, as they run aimlessly at the enemy attempting to solo carry or get a so wicked sick nasty play of the game. Don't get me wrong, there are some super freaking good offensive players out there. I mean, I'm one of them. But overall, there are plenty of players out there that lock it in fast and then let their play do the talking. It's just not saying what they might think it's saying. Next up are your defenders. Most people of the defender classification are good intentioned players. I, like many others, believe they're trying to help the team out in any way they can. Whether it's with their favorite ranged hero or someone who can pack a punch, defenders sometimes show up at odd moments. Let's not kid ourselves, we've all seen some defenders on certain maps playing heroes that seem a little off. Perhaps a mostly stationary hero who doesn't attack with the rest of the team on a control map, or is never in the right spot at the right time while pushing. Regardless, their intentions are mostly good when they might fall short. On the other side of the spectrum is the defensive player who knows all of the sweet spots to every map and showcase themselves as a dominant force making short work of your foes. Tanks. Every team needs them, not everybody seems to play them. One thing for sure can be said about them, they can be beasts. For those players who main the role, they can be a force to be reckoned with. They are the players who also want to dictate the flow of the match. They're the shot caller getting the team to group on them and push with their ultimate for a team wipe. Whether you're an aspiring tank expert or a full-fledged main of the position, you might not be aware that you're basically suggesting to everyone that you're in charge. I know this can be pretty hard for a lot of offensive players to swallow, but let's be real. I want the big guys up front leading me into battle, and that's something I'm not gonna get from a 200 health point Genji. Finally, we arrive at the supports. A lot can be said for those who play the role. Words like newbie or filler come to mind, but that's not what this role says about you if you practice the dark arts of healing and supporting. What this role says about you is that you're a true team player, honestly something that seems to be missing from some games these days. I know sometimes you feel like you're just filling a position because you were last to pick or because you actually want the teamwork to make the dream work but your sacrifice is for the greater good and is a just cause in matches where your team has too much DPS. And as for players who actually main the role, you are literally pouring your life into the matches, helping to keep your team fighting and the match rocking. Because without the supports, there would only be constant dying and respawns. All of those white knuckled extended fight moments that we love aren't actually really possible without their skill set in the game. Think your role says something else, or would you like to know what each character says about you? Let us know down below in the comments. This has been Andrew from Curse saying thanks for watching, and enjoy the game.